Hello, I'm Paula Holderman, President of the Illinois State Bar Association. My guest today is Julie Bauer. Julie is a litigation partner at my firm, Winston & Strawn, where she concentrates in white-collar criminal matters, complex commercial litigation, and class actions. Julie is the president of the Seventh Circuit Bar Association this year. I asked her to share her advice for young women and men entering the profession. So Julie, you were the hiring partner at Winston for many years. Can you tell us what do large law firms look for when hiring associates, both women and men? Well, really what we're looking for is people who are going to be successful lawyers as they start at the firm. So we're looking um, for a couple things. First of all, we're working, looking for people who can um, do the research and write the briefs or the documents that we need written. So we're looking at good predictors of that or good grades from good law schools and often experience on journals or other writing experience is going to be a good predictor of somebody who's good at writing. Um, sometimes there's substantive skills that we're looking for. We might be looking for people with a background in biology, chemistry, chemical engineering, something like that. Might be looking for somebody with a, with a CPA or a, a background in accounting or auditing, something like that. And then we're looking for people who are going to work well in a large law firm setting and, and be leaders, work well on teams and grow into leadership roles. And that could be a lot of things are good indicators of that. People have done well on sports teams, maybe been captain of sports teams, presidents of sororities and fraternities, other leadership roles in different organizations as undergrads or in law school are all, all good things that we like to see in resumes when we... You know, that's a, I'm sorry, that's a very good point about um, participation in, um, in college sports and it's, it's interesting of course because uh, for a long time women didn't have the opportunity to participate in college sports. So I imagine it does make a difference now that you can see women in those same sort of team and yet competitive uh, situations. Would you say that's true? I, I think that's true and I think what's important is that you see them working in a team situation and leadership roles and that could be a lot of diff in a lot of different ways. Some people like sports, some people don't like sports, but at least for the women who do like sports they have those opportunities just as men I have for a long time. As you know um, things for young lawyers and when I say things um, the ability to frankly get a job and, and the hours and the work and the compensation, everything over the last five years has um, changed somewhat drastically. Um, do you, what would be your best advice for new lawyers who are entering the, the job market at this point? Um, first of all, I think you have to always remember that the your career is going to be very important to you and to nobody else. So if you're fortunate enough to get a job with a good firm, whether it's a large firm or a small firm, don't assume that they're going to take care of everything you need for your career development. You need to watch out that, for that yourself. And sometimes that means that you're paying out of pocket to attend seminars or, or taking time to participate in events that maybe your firm doesn't fully appreciate. But if you need to do it for the long run, you need to take care of that on yourself. So they need to take charge of their legal career. Absolutely. Now, can I just add, I yes. think also um, in a city like Chicago, it's important to realize that while sometimes this seems like a big legal community, it's in fact very small. And everybody you meet, you're going to likely meet again years later, maybe in a very different setting. So the person who's your adversary now is years later, you're going to be looking for a job. You're going to be looking for them to sponsor you for some type of position. They might be the judge on the case the next time you see them. And so it's important to um, maintain relations and, and think about them in a way that you might meet them again at some point in your career. You know, in thinking about um, developing relationships, uh, would you say that involvement in bar associations is important and, and can help facilitate a career? I think it can be extremely helpful to um, facilitating a career. You can meet a lot more people through um, bar association involvement than you're going to meet on your cases or on your day-to-day -day work. I mean, in a large law firm, you might have only a handful of cases at any particular time, and you're going to meet only so many lawyers both in your firm and outside your firm, and you can meet a lot more people in the community and get involved at an at a early age and in a significant way through bar association involvement. My thanks to my friend and partner, Julie Bauer, 
for being here today to share her insights on developing a successful legal career. I'm Paula Holderman. Thanks for watching.